What's going on everyone? Kelly Cavallari here, one half of Seven Arrow Media, and welcome to today's edition of the Honky Tonk Highway, episode number 65. We're halfway through the week, guys. It's Wednesday. Hope everyone's having a great day so far. Huge shout out to everyone who joined me on V7 for my teach. Also, Jamie's teach that just ended. Um, so thank you guys for that. Uh, don't forget, guys, if you don't yet like, follow, share, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, at Seven Air Media, you don't want to miss nothing we're ever going to post. We go live, we all share all sorts of things. Definitely going to check that out. Um, also, guys, every Tuesday, the Honky's Honk Highway is now on Light Dancer Radio, 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. Eastern Time, 2 to 4 a.m. UK Time. Um, I'm bringing you pretty much what we do in here, just with music. I do uh, different theme shows every week, so definitely check that out. Um, also, yet, yeah, if you haven't signed up yet, guys, V7 Aero USA. $25 gets you four weeks subscription plus all 10 channels. Uh, my guest today is teaching currently on V10 for Roy Verdunk. You get all of V7. You get over 50 lessons classes a week, guys, for 25 US dollars, 20 pounds, plus you get the monthly event. This month it's Legends of Line USA on V7. We got Joe Thompson, John Robinson, Scott Levins, Ethan Allen, Bill McGee, Dan and Kelly. Kenny J, Joel Bavinick, Scooter Lee, Darren Bailey, and Rob Fowler all going to be teaching, plus more. So definitely check that up. Um, also, guys, if you haven't yet and you want to order, our cups are on our website. We have four different styles now. You can get either logo, the Honky Tonk Highway, or Seven Air Media. We are putting in the first order come Monday um, to get shipped to us. So that way, you can definitely check that out. So, today's guest. What can I say? But she got up really early to be here, guys. Um, it's only 5 a.m. where she is. Um, so uh, go easy on her, said no one ever. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, my guest today, Miss Rebecca Lee. What's going on? How you been? Hi. I've been good. Very good. <laughs> With all the virtual teaching and online dancing. It takes a lot of time to do all that as well. Oh, yeah. You uh, you filled in for Philip earlier. Um well, late last night for you, <laughs> earlier for us, <laughs> um, <laughs> um, and then caught a couple hours sleep, and then graciously uh, agreed to get up early for me um, to come on the show. So thank you so much. Welcome. Um, welcome. For those who don't know who you are out there, uh, why don't you give us a brief synopsis of how you get onto uh, line dancing? Uh, that's a tricky question. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, That's so basically question. I start line dancing because of uh, my aunt. So my aunt was a line dancer. So yeah. uh, I just picked up line dancing when I was uh, 17, not 18. And I'm, I'm, I, I can't tell you how many years I've been dancing line dancing. <laughs> <laughs> or oh, else you know my age. You're not, so, you're not that uh, old, you're okay. <laughs> <clears throat> Thank you for that. So uh, then I started to do uh, competitions. I went to UCWDC and I went to Master in Line and compete um, for quite a year. And I graduate to be an all-star uh, at World Dance Master on 2018. That was two years ago. Yay! And I got my superstar back in 12, 2014, 2014. So yeah, and then I start to do choreography back in 2015, if I'm not wrong. So yeah. Sounds about right. I, I remember when you came over for the first time to uh, what was the Tampa Bay Line Dance Classic, but now the Florida Classic yeah. uh, for uh, JC Dance Productions. That was a fun weekend. Uh, so uh, you choreograph a lot now. Um, for those who don't know, you did New Thing. Um, your newest one, I think it's what, Sour Candy? Was oh, that yeah. the one you did with Carlton? You've Shut Up and sh shut up Chicken. 
<laughs> which is the one you taught today, <laughs> which is the one you taught today in the class yeah. over on uh, V10. Um, what's been what's been your favorite dance so far that you've choreographed? I would say New Tank. New Tank is my favorite and Clap Snap for sure. <laughs> And lately, I've been doing a lot of uh, cho- choreography as well with Carlton, as you say, with some uh, with all the choreographer from Streamline as well. That was when we started uh, lockdown. We have the dance choreograph with seventeen choreographer, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that was that was crazy. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that was, that was crazy. the start of like, wow, a lot of numbers of choreography, uh, choreographer choreographed one song, like 17, 18 of us. So, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I messaged Gam, I'm like, uh, th- uh, that's a lot. That's a lot of, that's a lot of choreographers. And then it, I thought it was funny when the last one, the, the whoever the last person was said, okay, Gam, now back to you to do it again. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, <laughs> so Gam ended up having to go back and do the last one. I'm last like, that's time. that was funny. That was yes. that was that was hysterically funny. Uh, so um, you've been coming over to the U.S. lately. Uh, marathon. You've been at uh, JC Dance yeah. production events, uh, Windy City. Um, what's been your favorite experience coming over to the U.S. so far? <laughs> okay. Besides the food. Besides the food, the food does not count because I knew that's where you're going to go with it. <laughs> okay, so I think the best 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 thing is when I arrive on the states with a good like, you know, I don't get sick every time I get sick when I fly to America. Maybe because of the long flight, like thirty thirty hours sometimes, so I get sick. But the most happy time is when I don't get sick. And I get to have all the fun and then trying to beat like, you know, my records, my records to stay as late as I can in an event. Yeah. So that was like the most fun thing. I was like, okay, this one I have, I have like two o'clock. The next one I want to have it like four o'clock, but I fail all the time. Uh, at least, at least lately your luggage has been showing up. I remember in Boston when I had to come pick you up from, I came and picked you up from the airport. At like one o'clock in the morning, no suitcase at all. They couldn't. Yeah. They don't even. They didn't have record of it ever leaving with you. And I'm like, oh, this is not gonna end well. That was the worst. I was like, I, I was like, damn, this is my first time experience like no luggage. I was like, the first thing I ever, t- the first person I ever think of is Fred Whitehouse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Fred. Fred loses his luggage a lot, and then uh, lately Daniel Trapot loses his luggage. Like his, uh, he finally got his last yeah. one back. I remember it was like after like nineteen or twenty days or something like that. He lost it for a while. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I so, think that the, the the changes keep going. Yeah. Someone tag someone else's turn to uh, lose their luggage next time. Not me. Not. <laughs> not me. And not yours for sure. You have all your expensive, what you call that, gadget. Yes. Um, so, how is how has dancing been over there? Um, I saw the, the first event, was it in Taiwan? Um, that actually got to hold an in-person workshop. Oh, that one. Uh, that one was, I think, organized by Jesse. The, uh, yes, the one the... Off, offline or something, offline offline virtual dancing something like that all the people in um the people there were actually able to meet together and then all the instructors recorded it so uh, is that uh, like, yes yes because obviously are y'all allowed to dance like you, your studio is allowed to be open and stuff like that now y'all are uh, back. yes basically y'all are- we all back to studio dancing i have been teaching uh back in studios yes uh, Malaysians are all sort of going back to studio dancing. We we call it a uh, SOP. We you got to have uh, registered. Okay. Your company have to be registered all days, as long as everyone have like a meter or two meter distance when you dance, then okay. you are safe to dance together in the uh, in the studios. But the one you're talking in Taiwan is is sort of like a little social event. Right. For a day. Yeah, yeah. That, that one is for a day. Wait, I think they have like 200 numbers, yeah, 200 people the, maximum. 
Yeah. yeah I think that was the thing is so that's good because we can't we can't have groups that big over here yet. We're not allowed to have groups yeah. that big together. Like how big can you go or uh, in states? Well, so far there hasn't been a single lineage event in the U.S. If that tells you anything. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> um, there's been a couple classes. Uh, no local classes. classes have done it, but there hasn't been any workshops or any any events. Um, everyone is canceled up until I think the next big event is Motor City hasn't canceled yet. And that's oh, Halloween okay. weekend. That's October. <laughs> that's October, right? Okay. Windy City's In already can- Windy well. City canceled. So yeah, Derek 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 Steele's event, um, Motor City is the next one that hasn't canceled yet. Jamie Bar- Jamie Marshall's on. She just said we're allowed to have ten people in person in Kentucky. Oh. That's the max are allowed is ten people. But I think Vegas is not canceled as well. Vegas isn't canceled yet. At the end of November, and yeah. Amy just said Nice Hall is not canceled, but Nice Hall is after uh, Motor City. It's in uh, November, so the next one that's supposed to be not canceled is Motor City. Uh, and Michelle Reasley just said nothing is allowed in the UK either. Oh, um, I so was big... just yes. Go oh, go ahead. I uh, know. I was just planning to do my event because we able to have like we are allowed to have like the event mm-hmm. with the maximum number of two hundred people. Oh, nice. Yeah. yeah. Nat- Natasha Smith just said Texas just canceled. What did, what event what event in Texas, Natasha? Oh, there okay. was. I didn't know. I didn't know there was a thing. And no ga- Someone just said no gathering in California. Jesse did. No, no gathering in California yet either. So that's yeah, that's crazy. Um, so uh, Big Jim wants to know. So how's married life? You stuck off and got married, and no one nearly knew until we saw it on Instagram. <laughs> Oh dear! All of a sudden, everyone got Instagram notifications that Rebecca Lee is married. I know, I know that that was like JP was saying. Uh, John Pierre was like, "Now you take over the Facebook. Everybody is liking your posts because of your married." I was like, "What? What? Hey, brother, what?" Yeah, so married life is a bit bored. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. Uh, sort of. I'm not. I'm. I'm really not sure what to say. Married life was half. <laughs> okay. You go. You go right from getting married to being quarantined with each other. <laughs> oh, that is the happiest thing ever happened. Because once I got married, like in five days, I went to Spain for a workshop and event. <laughs> Came back for two weeks and I went to Taiwan for event. That is after married life. Crazy, crazy. <laughs> now, 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 now you're just now you're just stuck with him. No events to travel to or nothing. Yes, I'm stuck with him twenty four seven, and he's still awake. <laughs> Oopsie. <laughs> and I forget to shut the door. <laughs> Uh, he's listening. <laughs> he's probably God like, what's, what, 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 what kind of stuff is she saying about me now? <laughs> so, how have you been? Um, how have you been enjoying teaching online? You've you've taught for Streamline. You've taught on. Uh, you had the first class ever on Streamline. You had over eight hundred people live. You've done digital yeah. dance. You've done all sorts of stuff. What's what what? What's that been like for you? How how much is that different from your uh, teaching in person? Uh, I would say I still love to teach in person. <laughs> we have like straight, like you can take a little break. I would say that we able to take a little break right. as an instructor while you're teaching. But doing online, I felt that in that particular one hour, you have to uh, check whether everybody can get it is through the command from the Facebook Live, and then you have to worry about the music being cut, or you being disconnected, sometimes Wi-Fi. That's the thing that I think all instructor panic is connection, the music, and you disconnected. And got muted sometimes. Yes. 
Yeah, usually, yeah. I like. I just noticed, like, like I did Rob's earlier. Rob got muted after the fact, and I got had it where it gets muted after the fact. Live getting muted, I don't. But the connection that is, I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad you said that. Connection is definitely the key. Internet connection will kill you. You can have yeah. the best best camera, best phone in the world broadcasted. If you have really bad internet, you're still not helping none at all. <laughs> it doesn't matter. That was the one thing when we moved because we just moved from Fort Lauderdale back up to Orlando. Oh yeah. And the first thing I did when we went and looked at the place we looked at was the internet connection we were gonna have. And I'm like, I told Kelly, I'm like, I have to, we have to make sure we can get the top of the line. I'm like, I don't want to. I broadcast. I do this every day. Um, yeah. That's just what it is. So I'm like, I got, we got to have internet connection. So I was very, very happy that uh, we have really good internet in the new place. I'm like, yes. <laughs> so nice. That I got told. Really nice. I got told to ask you. Kayleen said to tell them about the chicken. Why about the chicken? <laughs> Why chicken? I like to eat chicken, especially chicken nuggets from McDonald's. And I also like to eat, uh, you know, uh, grilled chicken. Uh, uh, there's one time I went to Vegas for uh, chicken wings with uh, Madison Glover. And uh, she asked me, like, you know, do we like to share because I'm not really hungry, Maddie? Sure, we, we could share one, one plate. And then I say, uh, you can choose the flavor. And she says, why don't you choose the flavor? I'm Asian. I like spicy. <laughs> then we went, we went for hot wings, like hot buffalo wings. And yep. it burns Madison tongue like crazy. <laughs> she was drinking more. Rebecca, how you eat this? I was like, spicy. <laughs> and she was like, oh, that's spicy. Eat one, drink one cup. That's what happened when you eat chicken with Rebecca. <laughs> I, I like spicy food, so I'll be all for that. Um, Kayleen says, tell you about the tell them about the rubber one, the rubber chicken. Oh, actually, that thing is connected to my, you know, uh, in Chinese, we have something, uh, what do you call it, a belief that we need to send a chicken as a gift for a wedding gift. Okay. It's something funny about Chinese, uh, you know, religious stuff. So, in this kind of 2020, I told my husband, uh, I don't want a real chicken. Why don't we get a rubber chicken? So, the rubber chicken was my wedding gift. <laughs> I, have, I have two. I can get it to you. Wait, give me some time. Go ahead. Has rubber chickens with their mouth open, with their mouths open. Yes. How come, how, how come I see at the next dance event in person, you're gonna end up with about a hundred rubber chickens now? No. I have a no. feel. Yeah, well, you, you remember you were there when uh when Hagen brought the swords for Joey, right? For straight to the castle. I can have I have this odd feeling now that when uh, next time we are in person and there's shut up chicken, everybody's gonna have a rubber chicken in there. <laughs> yep, I so see this happening now. This oh my gonna, god, we're gonna have a room full of chickens. Room. <laughs> That's room. gonna be very very fun. A nice picture. <laughs> maybe, maybe uh. Jesse Chan said, chicken's pronunciation is the same as family. Straight to the... Oh. Oh, okay. Okay. That makes sense. I get it now. Uh-oh. I think we just lost her. She froze. Hold on one moment, guys. Looks like we lost Rebecca for here for a minute. Maybe. All right, let's see if I can get her back. 
One moment, guys. So you heard that guy. We're gonna get chickens, chickens for Rebecca at the next event. We just won't tell her. That's why we're. Since we'll use this opportunity to use off air. I hear you. Okay. Oh, there Can you are. Yeah. There you no, are. It I happens. It. It's too hot earlier. As we're just talking, connection. <laughs> <laughs> so I can, I can, like I say, I can so see this happening now. You, you, we're gonna have a room full of chickens. So, well, if you like hot wings so much, so I, I'm organizing a. a for the next event, and uh, some people want me to do it online, but I'm organizing for the next event, an eating contest between Fred Whitehouse and Roy Hattas Abrodo, and maybe we need to throw you in there and just make it hot chicken wings and see who can eat the most. <laughs> Give everyone the hottest chicken wings we can find and see who lasts longer, the longest. Hottest chicken wings. What can that be? What kind of sauce or... Um, there's a couple places over here that do chicken wings that uh, they, they have some Asian zing ones and some uh, habanero that oh. get pretty spicy um, all depends on where you go and how hot how how hot and you end up wanting them you can get they have chicken wing places that usually offer like 15 20 flavors wow so we can go hot we can definitely go hot yeah. So, uh, uh, so I'm gonna ask you this question now because it might take you a moment to answer. But I don't know if you've ever. I know you've tuned into a couple shows here and there where you've seen people. So I ask every instructor or choreographer that comes on on the show the same question. I've started it on set episode two. Every person has answered this question except for one, and I'm gonna make him answer it and he actually came up with the question after he came on the show trevor trevor oh, was trevor. my first trevor was my first guest during episode two when i had big jim on trevor came up with this question if money was no object where would you hold a dance event and who are the first five instructors you're inviting if money is not a, come again if money if is money. no object so you can spend as much money as you want you don't have to worry about a budget. You don't have to worry about spending too much money and nobody showing up. So you can spend as much money as you want. Where would you hold the event? And who are the first five instructors you're calling? Wow, that's a tough question. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Oh, dear. Hmm. So I can hold that event anywhere. Anywhere you want. Asia. People have picked Australia. Someone picked the moon. People have picked Bora Bora. <laughs> I, 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 you can go anywhere. Hawaii. Okay. I will pick... Um, I don't like cold weather. I always get freeze. Uh, it's so hard to pick. Hmm. Okay. I'll go with... Too hot. Wait, let me take it. <laughs> so hot. It's either you can't go cold or you can't go too hot. <laughs> yeah, because Malaysia is so hot all the time, like 30 degrees every day. Hmm. I was thinking to pick Hawaii, but I don't like to wear bikini. Hmm. What is that place? Santorini. Is that in Greece or what? Do what? Santorini. Where is that? Greece. I thought. Is it Santorini? Where's that place? Is 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 uh? Cat, Jesse, help me. She just okay. <laughs> she just put it. Santorini, Greece. 
In Greece? Yes. Island of Greece? Okay, yes. yeah, everyone's saying Island of Greece. Yep, Greece, There's Greece, like Greece. a little island with very nice view. Yes. I'm gonna go there for my event. Is that echo? Nope, you're good. You're good. I'm reading, I'm reading the comments the so it's all Greece. Yay. I will get... Right, White House. Hmm. Okay, fine. There's mm. one. Uh, the five instructors, isn't it? Five instructors. Okay, I go with um, Fred, and I get Amy Glass. Guillaume Richard. <laughs> and myself <laughs> that might be the record I think I think I think Rebecca's the first one to pick herself as one of the five <laughs> there you go <laughs> and the last one is oh my Asian brother Roy Hadis Broto <laughs> there you go you, you, you're gonna have to make sure you bring a whole truck full of food with it yeah, I got two jobs. Oh, two foodie. <laughs> Gotta say. One friend. One is the guy. island is 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 the island gonna have enough food? Yes. All chicken wings. All chicken. All chicken. About to say, you're gonna need you're you're gonna need a lot a lot of food for that one. Yes, because I have Fred. I have Roy. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> One. I just I just realized I have a tough choice that eat. <laughs> so what has been on your what is what what is on your bucket list of where to teach that you haven't taught it yet? Hmm, these questions I was Turkey. Turkey, nice. I've seen some pictures and videos of people in Turkey. I, it looks absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. I would, uh, yeah, definitely. I would definitely be all for going to Turkey. I, that place looks gorgeous from the videos I've seen. Yes. So, but they say it's quite pretty hot there. In Turkey, it is. It is pretty hot there. So it might. It might be too. It might be on your too hot scale. <laughs> um, what's been your What's been your most uh, favorite place that you've uh, dance has taken you so far? Hmm. I would say dancing. Hmm. Almost everywhere I like it, but I felt that the first time when I went to Vegas was the crazy one. Yes. Because I was dancing from room to room. I was dancing from room one, I jumped to uh, the grand ballroom, and then I jumped to uh, lobby, and I jumped to... It's like crazy for the first time. So I was in Vegas because I was allowed to run rooms to rooms. Yes, Vegas is a Vegas is a fun one. You, you go from dancing in the ballrooms, you have the casino, you have the strip. You can always have fun in Vegas. Vegas is definitely a fun event. Yes. Yeah, I think I think oh, I was actually out there for your first one. That's the year you brought your shirts for the first time. Uh oh, I think we lost her again. She's frozen. Oh, I think she's back. There you are. Maybe. My apologies, guys. We are having connection. I can hear you. Okay, I'm going to stop that from here. I think it's my connections problem. Yeah, look, I think that's what it is too. Because we can hear you fine now. You're just, you're just frozen on the screen currently. So.
<laughs> like Jesse just said, too hot in Malaysia. Let's see if we can get her back on here. I can hear you. Kelly? Rebecca? Bear with us for a minute, guys. I'm going to try to get Rebecca back. It looks like she's having a little bit of connection issues. Um, real quick while I work on that, I am going to play the trailer um, that I made. It's a little quick one real quick just to give it a little time. Um, advertising the upcoming um, Legends in Line event. So here you go. I'm still working on getting Rebecca back connected. Um, looks like she has a uh, little bit of connection issues, guys. Um, I do apologize for that. So um, we are working on getting her back on. Um, don't forget, tomorrow um, you're going to get me. I am doing an entire show on my opinion on what the top 10 dances everyone should know. Top 10, every line dancer should know classic dances. Um, and you might get surprised. I might I might be uh, throwing in a couple mystery guests who will uh, be joining us briefly to share what their number one dance is, what they think every line dancer should know. Um, so you're not going to want to miss this. Uh, it's definitely going to be fun. And then uh, Friday, I will be back with the Shenanigan Duo. That's right. Paul and Stacey are going to be back with me on Friday. So definitely tune in on that. That's going to be fun. Last time, if uh, for those who didn't join, uh, head back and watch the last show. Um, you're not going to miss that for sure. So, still working on getting Rebecca back. <laughs> yeah, exactly. What did we just say about connection issues? This it could be the the death of it. It could death if you don't have good connection, you could be the death of it. That is for sure. Um. So I know. Uh, Rebecca is trying to get reconnected for me, um, so uh, bear with us, guys. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. I will gladly answer any of them um, as much as I possible. So, Kelly just informed me. Um, uh, Rebecca messages, is messaging her. Um, her phone did overheat. Um, between that and the connection, it is um, she's not able to get back on right now. Um, Kayleen, uh, Kayleen just said it's uh, hard to state the top 10 dances because different countries do different dances around the world. Yes, but classics are, I believe, are classics. There are certain dances that have been around the world enough um, that I think are, are, are classics or staples. Um, there's dances that no matter what country you go to that you're, uh, that you're just going to be able to do. So um, that's what they, and like I always say with my top 10 shows, it's totally my opinion. Um, it's all <laughs> Jesse fried chicken. <laughs> Let's hope the rubber chickens don't melt. Uh, my top 10 shows that I do all, always are my opinion. Um, I did Guyton dances, Fred dances, Shane dances. I did my top 10 ultimate dream show. Um, but I feel that there are some dances. If I, I've, gone to, I've gone to dances in England where there's still dances we do in the USA that are classics that, guess what, um, I can do. So 
there are, there's just certain dances that are staples. Um, Audrey, how did you pick the top 10 dances? I pick what I feel 10 dances that every line dancer should know. They're classics. Um, they're dances that no matter where you go that I feel that you should do. Um, so it's not top 10 dances. Everyone should go out and learn this new dances. That's not what it is. It's, it's 10 dances I feel that every person who line dances should know. Um, and you're going to see there a lot of them are classics. A lot of them are definitely classic dances, guys. Um, you, there's just certain dances that you, you're not going to – there are certain dances that everybody, no matter what country you go to, does the same dance. Plain and simple. I can tell you right now, and I, um, I'll use one that's newer, and I'll do new, use one that is uh, – I know has a lot of dances done to it, written to it at least, but Lonely Drum. No matter where you go, Lonely Drum, there's a 90 – Eight percent chance I feel that you're going to be doing Darren Mitchell's dance <laughs> no matter if you're in Australia where he's from no matter if you're in the States um, Amy Gross just said another one come dance with me yes the Joe Thompson classic come dance with me that's again that's done in a lot that's that's done that's done in the soul world when Kenny J and company and all the guys came to Boston a couple years ago they do that exact same dance in the soul community they just changed the music so, um, and then, yeah, exactly. Um, another one, and, and I, this will, this is definitely on my list, and I'll give you one. Chill Factor. Chill Factor is a dance I feel every person should look, should, should know. Um, because that's going to get done, I feel, anywhere you go. I think the same as of so. Um, so definitely tune into that. And again, guys, like I said, always my top 10 are always my opinion. Um, I always, I just, I have found them fun to do and a lot of people have liked them. So I've decided to continue them. Um, I'm going to be doing a, a, another choreographer one next week. Um, for sure, top 10 choreographer dance. Um, so, and uh, slowly but surely, um, I am going to be bringing back the uh, choreography challenges. Um, they are coming back. I'm doing a, a, a country one. That's for sure. Um, I am definitely going to bring doing a country challenge on that. So definitely on that one, guys. Tune in for that. Yeah, exactly. Right. There's. I, I tried Kayleen when I did it, and I was going through them. I I tried to find dances that I know. Oh, I think Rebecca's calling me back in. This could be a good sign. I think I got you back. Can you hear me? Yes. All right. Let's switch the screens. I think we might be good. Yes. I got the chicken back. <laughs> Jesse, Jesse said, oh, no, poor chicken, fried chicken. I go, oh, hopefully the rubber chicken's not <laughs> melting. We're going to hope. <laughs> This might be the best story you have. Five o'clock in the morning interview and nothing goes right. <laughs> At least you didn't have to teach today. Oh, <laughs> that was dear. yesterday. I have another class later online as well. Like, oh my god. <laughs> oh man. So, Jesse was. You better prepare. Like, be careful. Your phone got overheated. So I got this. See, I haven't. Like, I, 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 I guess that's a UK. I, I don't know. I, I, Darren, it's happened. I know to Darren over here, but I've never had that happen to me, where my phone is just over, where my whatever I'm doing is overheating. That's, I, I've seen it happen to many people. I'm like, it just it baffles me. Like my phone gets hot, but I've never had it shut down. Where a connection before. Granted, when my phone gets hot, it's because I'm usually outside using it, and. Florida heat, it's like right now with Malaysia, it's going to be 95, 96 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 30 plus degrees for you. So, yeah. Um, so, definitely, yeah. So, um, while we were waiting for you to get back, we were start talking. We were talking about um, my show tomorrow. My show tomorrow is top 10 dances 
that I feel every dancer should know. There's dances that everybody should know, classic dances that are just a staple in time that every dancer should know. Um, I use Chill Factor. Um, some people said okay. Poetry in Motion, Come Dance With Me by Joe Thompson. Jesse, now we are so interested in I have an iPhone 11 Plus, Jesse. I have a normal, uh, and I've had eight pluses. I've, been, I've had iPhones. I'm an iPhone guy. If no one, anybody knows me, I am definitely, I am pro Apple. I, as my friend Big Jim would say, I definitely drank the Kool Aid. I have definitely drank the Kool Aid on the Apple products. I have iPads. I use Mac. Um, so <laughs> I'm definitely. You an Apple fan? I am an Apple fan. Um, I been an Apple fan. I edit all my videos on iPad and my Mac. Um, I do all my music stuff, so I am definitely an iPhone fan. Um, I think I switched I switched from iPhone about nine years ago for like two weeks. It was the worst two weeks of my life. I had to go back. I had to go back. I, I, I went back in the store. I go, I cannot take this phone. Give me an iPhone back. <laughs> so, and Jesse's just like, ha ha ha, Apple rocks. You're right. <laughs> um, so, like we were talking about, um, dan dances at the table, half fun, go mad. People have been listening to ones that they would put. Dances that you just, you know that no matter where you're going to go, um, you're going to be able to do it. So if you had to list one dance that you would tell every dancer that and you think every dancer knows, should know, what would it be? I would say come dance with me. Because uh, that is my uh, event, like I will play it for the first song to like opening dance yep. to everybody. <laughs> and you will see like, I have it last year, it was like 700 of them on the floor dancing, come dance with me. Right. And that's, and that's over there in Malaysia. That's just like over here. You play come dance with me, you're going to have a full, full floor. Full Absolutely. Floor. Absolutely. So it dances like that. Trust me, I know all about the whole different countries do different dances stuff because I've seen that. I, I, I watch Copper Knob a lot and see how many dances are queer craft. <laughs> I think we did we did well, I did the show with I did the show with Fred and Darren and JP Potter and we talked about uh, choreo choreography today. Is there too many dances? And I think this is one of my first shows. It was like twenty something. It was like a couple months ago. And at the time, I think we were two months into quarantine, not even, there had been close to 13,000 dances added on Copper Knob since the start of quarantine. <laughs> it's like, there's no one, there's no dancing going on, nowhere to go, no classes being held except for the couple online that's been, what, I go, where y'all, where are y'all showing your dances? I go, <laughs> Me, so we were talking about that and just like the amount the amount of dances added to Copper Knob. It's crazy. And then um, Chris Gonzalez shared, uh, the guy who does Kick It shared a count. He went back through and counted um, choreographers and how many dances they had written in the past physical year for one year. There was one person on that list that released 227 dances. Wow, that's in a, a lot. year. That's crazy. Can you imagine if you wrote two hundred plus dances in a year? <laughs> Can you imagine that? That's insane. Can you imagine having to do all your little demo videos to that? You would never. You would never have time to sleep. Guys, if you've never gone and watched Rebecca's demo videos, especially some of her older ones, uh, like new thing and stuff. The one there was one you did with Daniel. When y'all came out of an elevator at a hotel, I think it was. Oh, yeah. That's the old uh, one. Some of her stuff was crazy, crazy creative. They're awesome to watch. Go So go back. Um, yeah, like Kelly just said, can you imagine? That's 200 plus step sheets to write. No. <laughs> no way. <laughs> no way. <laughs> I can't get some people to submit one step sheet, let alone 200. <laughs> no. Crazy. That's too much. How... Imagine 200 divided by 12 months. Right. It's like 56 weeks. Right. That's, that's, <laughs> right. That's over 10 a month. That's, that's, that's close to almost 20 dances a month they're writing. Yes. That's oh almost, 
That's that's one every roughly day and a half. <laughs> Literally, you get done dancing this one. Here, get done writing it. The minute you're done writing it, forget trying to promote it. You're writing another one. Because literally, that's that's how fast you're writing them. It's like, that's crazy. Absolutely crazy. I saw that and I was like, oh. So yeah, guys, that's what my show is tomorrow. We're gonna talk. We're gonna talk about what I feel every, dances every everybody should know. Um, and then Friday we got the crazy, I got the crazy shenanigan duo back on Paul and Stacy. Oh, never know what they're nice. gonna do. That, that, I, I was scared last time I had them on. I was definitely frightened what they're going to do. <laughs> I was definitely, yeah. We, they danced a lot. They drank a lot. It was fun. It was good. We were, I think we were online for like an hour and a half. Just, just, just chatting away, talking, sharing stories. It was, it was, it was fun. And they had, I asked them the same question, the, 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 where would they hold an event? And, um, uh, the five instructors, they had a list. They literally had a list written out. They go, we had, we watched your show. They go, we watched the show, so we kind of knew this was coming. So they literally had a planned out list, and they're like, Country Vibe counts as one instructor, so we're bringing all the Country Vibe. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, like Amy well, just said, fine. costume changes. I I kind of threw them for a loop because they like to dance. They like to show up in different costumes and change for their videos. I had Kelly break out our entire costume closet. And I literally changed costumes every ten minutes of the show, right with them. I was, I had, I yeah, I did they did not see it coming at all? Every ten minutes, I was in a different costume. <laughs> it was priceless, absolutely priceless. So, what's it looking like? When's the when, when's the next event you think you get get to go to in person? Oh, I just hope I can go to Vegas. As now, that's the only event it's not canceled. You know, like. Uh... I think everybody is waiting the moment to get out, dance, be in the event, chat, drink, whatever yep. it is. This, like a gathering, you know. Everybody's waiting for that. Ugh. Yeah, I, me and Jen were talking the other day, and I told her, I go, all we need is one person. All we need is one event director. The first event director, I think, once one event person puts one event on in the states, I think a lot of them will follow suit. And Doug has been very adamant, very yes. adamant that unless the state of Nevada makes him shut down, he will not be canceling the event. He made that very clear in a post. Um, and I do know the Westgate is supposed to hold an event here in the next couple of weeks in September. They're supposed to have their first – because Vegas is open. The casinos are open out in Vegas. Um, they're supposed oh. to have their first convention in Vegas. I think it's the middle of September. So as long as that goes off without a hitch – fingers crossed i have a feeling vegas might be happening which is great i'm looking forward to it now as long as we can just get the border open for everybody can travel into this into the states because that's the one yes. thing y'all can travel among countries over there right now like i know i know people who've gone back and forth between european countries the border is still closed so yeah. hopefully the border will open here because i want to go visit <laughs> i want to go visit places I was yeah, yeah. I was supposed to be in England up until today. We we're supposed to be going. We we're supposed to be on our normal, uh, our normal trip over to Blackpool, and I'm like, nope. Me too. Woo. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> um, Natasha wants to know what are you uh, looking forward to doing besides corn besides dancing after quarantine. Basically, I'm full time dancing, so yeah. Nothing much on other than just dancing, choreographing, uh, doing performance, events, traveling, <laughs> eating. Eating, that's always a good one. <laughs> um, Audrey wants to know, what's your favorite style of dance? I basically like Latin. I used to do uh, Latin, but... Uh, because I can't find a, a, a man to dance with me. So I have to give up Latin and then I found another new love that was uh, hip hop. So I basically dance hip hop and Latin, but I like music that is very rhythmic, like uh, samba music, mm -hmm. um, salsa music. So 
I'm everywhere. Oh, you need to you need to, you need to come visit us in the summer. We do a, I, we do put down the floor for a lot of salsa conventions in Florida. So yeah, but I I I, I don't I don't really dance salsa, but I like their kind of music like uh, br- uh reggaeton. Okay. Brazilian song, yes, I, I like that kind of rhythm, that kind of music. But it just I don't know how to dance like that. Oof. Kayleen just said she can't even go more than five kilometers away from her home near Melbourne, Australia. That's oh, that, that. that's insane. Yeah, that's yeah. insane. I know Sydney, Australia is quite really strict and the cases are going up. Yeah. That's 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 insanity. That is insanity. Ah, oh, unreal. We can travel we can travel from state to state here, just some states make you quarantine. And some states speak you don't after you come home. Oh. For, yeah. for us, is that, that we don't have quarantine if you're going uh, state, state to state. But, but once you fly out of the country, country yes, yes, you come, you come back, back, you have, have to quarantine, quarantine yourself for 14, 14 days, days two yep. weeks. Yep. See, some states are like that here, depending on if you go, what state you go to. They make you quarantine. Like Massachusetts, anybody who lives in Massachusetts, if they leave Massachusetts, when they come back, they have to quarantine for 14 days. Wow. That's that's insane. I'm not sure how it works if we're going to fly to, like, for example, I fly to America and for event. Do I quarantine myself 14 days before the event? Can you imagine? Nobody would be booked. Can, can, can you imagine if that's the new rule that you have to go home at, for two weeks after every trip? No way, that, that's, yeah, exactly. No one's going to be able to go anywhere. That's insane. Nobody can fly. No. We can work. We go to an event and we got to go back and then we quarantine two weeks and it's a really one month. Take it. Crazy. Crazy. Um, yeah. Chris wants to know, uh, I think it was Chris that just posted it. Yeah, Chris, who do you enjoy choreographing with? Uh, yeah, co- choreograph with a good amount of people. Guy in Fred, Philip. I think the the easiest one is uh, Philip, because I've been doing my first dance with him was New Tank. That was my first co choreograph dance, and he is my first co choreograph with Fred. So yes, uh, I will say Philip, and the next one I will say. Fred, Fred and Guillaume, they both are very fast. We, we, when, when I choreograph with both of them, it's a snap of finger, we chain as well. But when oh, it comes good. to, comes to, no, I think basically choreographing with everyone is quite easy. That's good. Yeah, very easy. Because I'm just like, oh, that is nice, that's cool, that's quite cool, okay. Can't go on with that. <laughs> so, I know one of the I know one of the Kelly's favorite pictures she's ever taken is of you. It's when um, you were in Tampa, and you went down into a, a, a worm, and she got it where oh. your hair was sticking straight up behind you. Yes, it was perfectly <laughs> timed, like everything. Like all you see is a ponytail and a head. <laughs> like, where's my body? Where's my body? <laughs> So, Jesse just said no one can do that. He's right. Don't. If people could only travel and they had a quarantine after two two weeks after before they travel again, that'd be crazy. Yes. That would be absolutely crazy because there's like, uh, there was a one one spot where uh, when it was Vegas this past year because Vegas moved to September, we had uh, we had Jen's event. I had a, we had a swing event. We had uh, the experience. Vegas. I think I was home for a total of four days in like a month and a half. There was one. T- I wasn't home for like twenty three days straight. Twenty three days straight on the road with a U haul truck. Me and Kelly were we're gone three cities in three weeks and came home. Was home for four days and flew to Vegas for the week. So it's yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, I remember seeing you like you are super super tired. Like I haven't been home. I just came out. Was like, oh my god. Yeah. Uh, Carmen wants to know, do you play any instruments or sing? 
No, I don't. I'm a I'm a dummy for instrument. I can't sing. I sing so badly. That's why I do dancing. That's why I'm a dancer. <laughs> yeah, if you haven't seen any of her competition videos, guys, go to YouTube. I know there's a couple she's posted. Um, I got the privilege of watching her compete at Masters a couple years ago. Absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Um, so, but um, thank you for coming on the show. Um, sorry we had a little technical difficulties there. Gotta love Malaysian heat. At least the chicken yeah. survived. The chicken, the chicken didn't die, so that's always a good sign. Uh, so, uh, thank you everyone for joining us, guys. I hope you had fun uh, catching up with Rebecca. Uh, you're on Streamline every Monday. When? Monday, right? I thought it was. Well, I thought that's what it was. Every Monday for the rest of August. Yes. Yep. Yeah. So uh, check her out there, guys. And then she's also been teaching on. Uh, she filled in for V uh, V ten for Philip. Correct. Yes. So, so uh, definitely check that out, guys. We'll be back same time tomorrow, with just me. So uh, enjoy, guys. <laughs>